Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays AM2R, the Metroid 2 fan remake. <laughs> this is a really random thing, but I actually am sitting here, as I said that, thinking, did I properly intro the other video I just recorded? And I actually don't know. Well, I guess I'll find out. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Don't, don't do that. Uh, so we're in this... Weird, uh, electronics plant. Playing. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I wonder if we can hurt him with, uh, these explosions. Uh, it would appear no. Oh, except more are being spawned, so that's interesting. Oh, he can blow them up too, though. That's terrifying. Fortunately, I've whiffed a bunch of these. Um, these guys get hurt by power bombs. I can't actually tell. Oh my goodness, this is actually a nasty situation. It does uh, disable my beam temporarily as well. Kind of blind firing here, assuming that he's... That platform is just too high. Oh goodness. It's not going well. Whiffing those super missiles is uh, really detrimental here. Yeah, thanks robots for continuing to supply those. At my detriment. That was the wrong uh, thing to fire there. Oh, we got him, okay. Survived. Uh, I am definitely gonna refuel though, because holy cow. Got seven more Metroids in here, also. Alright, refueled. Get back going over here. And I don't think I need to actually punt these, I think they were just obstacles for the, uh, fight there. There we go. Alright, we got a little morph ball thinger. What are we doing here? Oh, it's a tube. Vacuum tube. Hmm. That's, yeah, okay, so that must be screw attack, or whatever that is. It's something we don't have yet. But it, it definitely looked like it's gonna be the same thing. There is, all kinds of dangerous. Enemies I noticed are starting to do uh, a fair amount of damage too. So my, my reckless uh, strategies here are becoming riskier and riskier as time goes on. By reckless, I mean face tanking and things. A lot of those uh, potential screw attack blocks. Assuming that's also what's up here. Yeah. I probably didn't want to do that. Wow, I can't believe I was actually safe there. I was speaking of not smart. I'm 
assuming we're gonna have to go punt this thing all the way through here. I wonder if I can, um... Or if I actually just have to be skilled, which... God help us all. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, there's gotta be a purpose for this. That's... Mighty suspicious, if you ask me. I don't have to punt it through a room, do I? Well, I feel like we haven't seen a red door in forever. Save point. I'll take it. Hmm. Locked door. Uh, Alright, another ball punting thing. Maybe we, we actually supposed to drop this? Oh. We get it to fall. Ah, because I blew it up. Oh, that disabled everything, though. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize it would disable those. I probably knew that, or I've seen that, and just didn't even put two and two together there. Uh, this is... Oh, this is the... Alright, so I do need that after all. I do remember it did say about the electrical impulses disabling things, so that makes sense. Should fall down here. Kind of amazing, like, how well that bounces all the way down there from its starting position. But that's intentional. It only requires really minimal push to get to uh, where it needs to go. The momentum. Alright, so that must open this uh, door up here. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. How many times have I said that in this playthrough? Approximately a thousand. These are crackle blocks and. Spinny blocks and oh dear god. I don't want to just let it happen. Ooh, shiny. Oh, okay. Uh, so you get like no invincibility frames against these. Feeling like I knew that, and I mentioned that before. Now that I say it out loud, but yikes. Stand in the uh, the safety here. I mean, you really think I'm gonna fall for that trick after first two? Come on now. Yes! Screw attack! Actually, didn't mean to cancel that. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. effect on it too. Oh, that does destroy them. So it definitely is screw attack, obviously. Um, but it does destroy those without triggering anything nasty, which is nice. Get used to that sound effect, because let me tell you, screw attack is the best thing ever. Take care of those guys, no problem now. Alright, where do I want to go from here? A lot of places to go. Only at open doors. Alright, can't go in there. I think there might be a... Huh, I wonder what opens that. Hmm. 
Well, we can at least go down here. Oh, there's another, uh... Ball roller. Oh, whoa. Does it hurt these guys? No, oh my good- oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you guys hurt by power bombs? I don't think they are? Really hard to tell. Alright, I don't think so. They're unfortunately not harmed by the screw attack either. We're gonna do a little of this. Well, that's certainly gonna take care of most of the Metroids here, huh? All but two, in fact. Well, that was kind of nuts. So those connect, but where did these other ones take me? Where does this one take me? Two places I haven't been yet. Uh, was there, um... Oh, Jesus. I didn't realize that stuff was gonna be immune to, uh, beams. Oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't go save, because I'm a fool. There is a, um, you see there's a pathway to the left, somehow. I quite know what that is, though. Oh, good, underwater. Oh, we can't screw attack underwater, either. Tricky, tricky. Yeah, so the other thing we must obviously get here is the gravity suit. I wonder if the gravity suit will let us, uh, screw attack underwater. Oh goodness, angry fish, angry fish! Save point, underwater save point! Hmm. Pretty big area, too. Alright, so we obviously need the gravity suit to get through there. Feels like a Metroid room. Metroids go underwater? Am I about to find out in a really unpleasant way? Yep. Oh boy, they sure can. Boy, their hitboxes are uh, damn small. Ah, oh, they're blocking. Well, we're gonna have to go back to uh, this strategy here. The two of them together, it's really hard to have one of them not blocking. Is this the most graceful way to do it? Nope. To get the job done, sure does. That's actually all of the, uh, the Metroids. Now, is that gonna lower the water level here? That would be kind of interesting. I don't think so, though. Hmm. Well, back we go. Uh, that was not the right button. Oh, that doesn't mean we have to go back to here, though. Oh, maybe it... I wonder if it removes some of these blocks or something. Nope. Although... You definitely can't speed boost underwater, right? Unfortunately, that's going to be a little bit of a pain getting back up here. 
That's why these little outcroppings are here, though. I think that's probably uh, a good stopping point for now, then. What does our map look like? Let's see a few places to go. Uh, so yeah, so we'll continue next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Big click like. Helps a lot. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon.